Well, good morning, everybody. I have my hand weights underneath the chair as well as my water bottle. Have a seat on your chair. When we start, make sure you're far enough forward on your chair so your feet are flat, your toes are pointing straight ahead. Arms come by your side, shoulder roll. Take your shoulder roll, roll them up, back, and down. From the shoulder roll, it's a big inhale. Reach up, take your inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Do that two more times. Reach up, big inhale. Blow it out, exhale. One more time, big inhale, reach up. Side stretch, drop the left arm, sweep the right arm up. Chance to lengthen the right side of the body. Think up and then over. Switch sides, up. Tap the ceiling, then a little lean over. Do that one more time. Lengthen the side of the body. Take it over to the other side. Bring both your fingertips up here. Clasp your hands. Flip your palms towards the ceiling. Lengthen here. Open your arms to the side. Sweep the right arm across. There's your chance. Shoulder tricep stretch. Arms open. Here's the other side. We'll do that one more time on each side. Arms open. Sweep across. Arms open, sweep across. Arms open, bring your hands right to your lap. Cow cat, lift the chest as you inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, round through your spine, exhale. We have a few of these. Make it feel good, move through the back. It's an inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you round. We'll do that one more time. Finish this, I was going to keep going. Here comes the twist off to the right. Sit up tall, gentle twist. Take it over to the other side. Gentle twist here. We'll do that one more time on each side. Gentle twist off to one side. Gentle twist off to the other side. Bring yourself to the center, lift the right leg, just enough for ankle circles. Get movement all the way down to your toes. Change direction, set the right foot down, lift the left leg, ankle circles here, circle it around, circle it around. Change direction, set the foot down, hug the right knee, it might be small, it might be big, you know what feels right. Set it down, switch sides, bigger little hug, bring it in. Do that again, it's a hug. Switch sides, hug. Take your feet a little bit wider. Here comes your chance. Upper body circles around. Use that to loosen up your back. Now we still want to think, engage the core, right? We don't want to just collapse. Think some length. String is pulling the top of your head away. Change direction. Take it around in the other direction. Take that around one more time. You can bring your feet back in front. They're gonna be flat. Here comes that stretch of the fingers and the lift of your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. Stretch your fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. It's fingers and toes. Fist and heels. Do that again. Stretch out your fingers, lift your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. One more time. Heels come up. Relax the feet down. Take your wrist circles around in one direction. Take them around in the other direction. Slide your feet out in front of you. Arms are out in front. Toes are up. There's that movement through your ankles. So catch your shins and your calves as you pull your arms back and forth. Get your chest and back warmed up. Here comes the ankles, shins, calves. There's your forward, moving everything together. 
Do that one more time. You're going to take your feet in and drop your arms by your side. Take a little shoulder roll. Take your arms out to the side. You're going to take the right palm is going to stay down. Left palm goes up. Take a look off to the right. Now switch. Take the right palm up, left palm down. Turn your head other direction. We turn our head, flip your palms. Turn your head, flip your palms. We'll do that one more time in each direction. Flip, turn. Flip, turn. Bring your look to the front. Fingertips can come to your shoulders, elbow circles. Up and around, up and around. Full arm circles. This time you're gonna drop your arms, take them up and all the way around, up and all the way around. Big movement and you know, you keep it where it works for you. Let your arms relax down. We're gonna come down and strengthen our lower body a little. We're gonna do a staggered squat. I just slid my right foot a little further forward. My left foot is back a little further. Push down into your feet. So I usually have you have your feet by each other. Today, we're going to do this little staggered squat. As you push down, you're going to feel a difference in the legs working. Relax and then switch. Take the left to the front, the right slides back. There is that push down. So I'm still pushing with both feet. One side is working harder than the other. There is your push down. Hold it here. Let's do that again. Switch sides. Right slides forward, left goes back, push down. So you're going to push a little bit harder in the leg that's closer, right? We don't want to feel it in our knees. I want you to feel all these muscles working. Relax. Switch sides. Switch it out. There comes that press down, press down, press down. Strong legs. Relax it there. Both of your feet come in. You're going to take your arms up. And now lift the right knee, drop the left arm. There's your drop and lift. So this, I often do with our arms starting at the bottom and starting at the top. It changes it, meaning we have to use our brain in a little different way as the arm drops, leg lifts. I also use it as coordination. It is core because whenever we lift our knee up, you have to use your core to keep yourself upright. There's your four. Three, two, now I'm adding one little change. Think more core, take the elbow across to your knee. So there's your little across. Now it doesn't have to touch, right? We just wanna add that little rotation. I did start taking my arms more to goal post. You're gonna take them where they work best for you. Little diagonal reach, little diagonal. Four, Three, two, keep your feet down. Take your arms in front of you like a genie and a little twist to the right and a little twist to the left. Do that again. We take our twist to the right and our twist to the left. Think core, but also a chance for mobility through your upper back. We'll do four more here. Four, three, two, finish this one. Bring your arms down, add a lean forward, sweep your right arm out to the front, left arm goes back, and then you switch. We're gonna do this little sweeping movement with your arms, one goes front, one goes back. Now look towards the floor. That is a safety precaution for your neck and it will probably feel better. You sweep one arm to the front, one to the back, then switch. Sweep one arm front, one arm back, switch. We'll do four, three, two. Bring your hands to your thighs. Bring yourself all the way up. Open your feet up wider, drop down to your forearms, give yourself a little forward stretch here. Bring yourself up, take your hands to your thighs, drop the right shoulder down, there's your upper back. Take it to the other side. 
Now there is a little more upper back mobility happening right here. Four more like this, it's your four, three, two, bring yourself back to the center, a little lean forward one more time, then bring yourself all the way up, have your feet come to the front, here is your chance to march and you know options, toes down, lift up, how do you feel today? That's the version you take. Bicep curls here. Little movement through the elbow joints. Take your arms to the front. Here's your front raise. Keep sitting up tall. Take your arms to the side. Side raises here. Push your arms up and overhead. There comes the overhead push, overhead push. Four, three, two, arms come down, take your feet out, out, in, in. Now I'm gonna have my, add my arms right away, up to you. How do you feel? Do you wanna make it bigger? Do you wanna make it smaller? There's your reach. Maybe it's a little smaller. One more time, bring it back to a march right here. Keep your march, come back to your bicep curls. Here are your front raises. One more time and take it to the front. Take the arms to the side, side raise. Now on the next one, one goes to the front, one to the side, front and side raise, switch, front and side raise, switch. There's four, three, two, open your arms up to the side. If you want to keep your march, keep it. We're going to cross the arms. So march if it works for you. We're going to cross the arms, switch the one on top each side. More intensity, we take our arms up higher. They reach up towards the ceiling and then you bring them back down, but you're finding where it's comfortable for you. There's your four, three, two. Now go out, out, in, in to the left. Go left and right, left and right. So you're back to your out, out, in, in, moving through your hips. Keep this going here a few more times. Finish this one. You can stop your feet. We'll go right into our hip circles. You're going to circle out, slide in, and switch sides. Circle out, slide in. Now I'm switching each time. Maybe the movement's a little bit smaller. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. It's just your chance to check on how the mobility in your hip joints feel today. One more on each side like this. Then we switch it out. You slide out, circle in, slide and circle. I haven't said this for a while, but kind of check to see when you do your circle, right? You're keeping your ankle under your knee. It's in a straight line. Sometimes we do different things. That's part of the alignment is keeping ankle over the, under the knee. Here comes your last one. Tap your toes back a little bit right here, just a little chance to move through your knee a little more and think more about getting the quadricep right here. Finish this one, stop your feet, grab a sip of water. And today I'm gonna do a chair squat. I'm gonna give you the option, you can stay seated. I'm gonna actually do sit and stand. I'll do that three times. It is up to you if you wanna stay down to push into the floor, go for it. So right here, I'm gonna cross my arms in front. So you have your choice. Chair squat, you're gonna stay right here. Push, push into the floor. I'm gonna add a lift up for a squat and then gently bring it down and do that two more times. Press up. 
and bring it down. Do that one more time, press up, and we'll meet sitting. So those of you that chose to stay seated, you're still there. Take your hands to the outside of your thighs. Here's that resist as you try to open. Get the outer hip, outer thigh resist, hold it here, hold it a little bit longer. Hold, 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 hold. Four, three, two, relax. We're all gonna come up to standing. You're gonna choose the method you work. We'll start with some marching next to our chair. Make sure you have enough space. Now hold on to the chair if you want. I'm lucky because my room, I have my wall right next to me, or you could go, um, and I also have it behind me. We're gonna do our march forward and back. Use the space that you have. You're gonna walk forward. And the focus is really, as you walk back, you wanna walk back with confidence. There's that chin level. We're trying to learn that we don't have to drop our head and look at the floor. You can look straight ahead and still see around you. And you're walking forward, back. When you finish this, we will stay marching next to our chair. So everybody take your time, use your space, march by your chair. I am going to get us ready to go step touch side to side behind the chair when you're ready. It's gonna be your side to side. And as you know, we can keep it low. I am gonna step add up and over because I think it's such a great balance move. It's our chance to be on one leg as you step up and over. This is actually something super useful in daily living. I'm adding arms, but depending how your balance is, hold on to your chair. Every day balance is different. I mentioned this at times because sometimes I don't have my balance and you just use extra precaution. You use your chair. You keep your feet a little bit wider. There's your up and over. We'll do that one more time in each side. And then we take it next to our chair on the other side. And we're gonna do a deadlift movement. Heels are under your hips. Cross your hands in front of you. And then you add a little push of your hips back and then you bring it up. I'm not ever worried about how low you go. When you hinge forward here and then engage, bring yourself up. I want you to focus on strong thighs and your butt area. So really think, can I use my butt to get me up? Because keeping our legs strong is gonna protect our back and our knees. Strong legs are really good for protecting the knee joints. There's your hinge and you bring it up. We are gonna do this one more time. Now we keep ourselves upright here and then just kind of shake it up. Give yourself a little shake, let the legs relax. We haven't done our side leg lifts for a while. I'm gonna hold on to the chair. I am gonna add an arm, but the focus is lift the leg to the side and squeeze it in. Little reminders, this standing leg, the knee is a little bit soft. Sometimes we lock our knees out and we wanna think of softness as you lift and bring it down. Lift, now I'm leaving with the heel. That's so I can get the outside of my hip. The movement isn't large. It's where my hip joint allows it to go comfortably. You have one more to go here. Relax that side. We're gonna take it over to the other side. And yes, I am aware our standing leg is working too, right? It's a stabilizer right here. Stand, a little softness in the knee. And then when you're ready, you're out and in. I'm holding on to the chair today. Like I said, balance is different every day. Um, if you wanna lift both arms, go for it. It's not for me today, but it's, very possible it is for you. Challenge yourself where it feels comfortable. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. 
keep the foot down. We're gonna step right behind the chair for some side lunges. Get a comfortable width for your feet. So if your balance feels a little off today, you would keep your feet a little closer together. That means you wouldn't go down as deep as you slide side to side. If your balance is better, maybe you open your feet a little wider and there comes that slide side to side. You're gonna choose what feels best today. As you go side to side, it's a little press of the hip back. Now remember, we don't wanna ever feel it in our knee joint, which means you're pressing into your heel. Maybe you wiggle your toes a little bit. That'll help you get that weight back further. Four, three, two, bring yourself back to the front. We're gonna take plies. I gotta adjust my feet a little bit. And then when you're ready, open the knees up. So today I am keeping my feet a little bit closer together. It feels better for me today. Some days I have my feet a little bit wider. The wider your legs are, there's a good chance you can slide down a little bit lower. So you'll see my move is a little smaller, my range of motion a little less because my feet are a little closer together. And that's okay. I'm still using all the muscles that I have intended. It just feels better for my body today. You're going to do four more. There's your four. Three. Two. Take one more. And you're moving your toes to face the front of the room and give yourself a stretch. We did our deadlift. That was working the back of the legs. Great chance to stretch the back. Keep a little bend in the knees when you lock them out. Sometimes you miss out on some of the nice stretch you can get with a little bend in your knees. You would slowly bring yourself up. That's so you don't get dizzy. I'm adding heel lifts today. And I'm going to keep my fingers on the chair today as I lift up. Balance on my toes and bring it down. Do it again. It's a lift of your heels, balance, and bring it down. Here is that lift and lower. Little balance on your toes here. It's also a great chance to strengthen our lower legs, our calves. I'm adding in extra today. We'll do five more of these heel lifts. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. Then keep your heels down, bring yourself next to your chair. You can do a little march right here. And to do the opposite, so we're just on our toes. I am gonna have you march on your heels and just do the reverse of what we just did. And that means really squeeze the glutes, stay straight through your hips right here. There is that march, 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 march. And then you can go ahead and release it down, add some leg swings. Now leg swing the leg forward back, forward back. Loosen up the hip, relax this side, take it to the other side. There is that swing forward back, forward back. We're gonna practice our tightrope. So bringing in the balance of heel toe. And again, if your balance is a little off today, I'm going to keep my just a little bit staggered. I already know my balance is off. So right here, you're going to take it to the front. Once you're there, add a little turn. Now, if your balance is rocking, you're right at heel toe. Otherwise, you can do a little staggered. Bring yourself to the front. Take it off to the other side. Bring yourself to the front. Relax your arms. We're gonna switch sides. And again, 
Heel toe is going to be more challenging. I do have mine open up a little bit more today. Just, you got to, you know, respect the body wherever it is. That's where you work. Here comes your twist to the left. Bring yourself to the front. Add your twist to the right. Bring yourself back to the front. You can take your hands to your hips, take your feet a little bit wider so you can take some hip circles. Really think, loosen up the back, the hips, take it around in one direction. And now you take it around in the other direction. We are going to do some work for our hamstrings, the back of our leg. I know we did the deadlift. I like to go this way so you can see my um, leg. We're gonna do a little lift here. So there's your lift. Now keep in mind, I am lifting to use my butt and my hamstring. Leg is straight or there's a little bend. You'll see mine has a little bend and it's a lift and a lower. So I don't want you to feel it in your low back. I want you to lift with the back of your leg, which means it's a small movement. You're gonna do five more here. There's five, four, three, two. Now you can bend the knee so it's at 90, and then pretend like you're pushing the wall behind you. It's a little push back. Again, we're not in our low back. It's your chance to work your hamstring, your glutes. Five more right here. There's your five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. You know what's coming on the other side. I'm going this way so you can see. Actually, I'll go this way on this one. Here it comes. Foot is going behind, and there's that lift and lower. So just make sure you're not arching your back and you're lifting with the butt and the back of your thigh. We want to keep those strong. You have five more here. There's five, four. It's a small move. One more time. And then you bend the knee, right? So now you're at that 90 and you push back. Again, it's a small move. It probably looks like I'm barely moving, but I definitely feel it in the back of my thigh and my butt. And of course, we're stabilizing, we're standing on one leg. So that also adds another element to it. You have three, two, and one. Go ahead, bring it down, add a little march, march it out, march it out, march it out. Bring yourself far enough behind your chair. Double step touch. Let's take two step touches to the side. Feel free to use your chair or it's a step cross if you want to take it up another notch. Arms can cross. Use that. Kind of loosen up your hips a little bit. Loosen up the legs. Right here, let's meet next to our chair. You can go behind your chair. I'm next to my chair so you can see my feet. I'm adding a stretch while we're here. You're gonna take the right leg either right next to the left or if it works for your hips, you're gonna cross. Yes, that's a little bit of a balance move. I'm gonna keep my hand on the chair, but I'm gonna add a stretch and lean up and over to stretch the side of the body and see if you can keep your feet down. Relax this side. Now you take it over to the other side. So you either keep your feet together. I'm actually gonna step over here because now I'm gonna take foot behind. And because I'm using the chair, if you were behind the chair, you could stay where you are. Here is that big stretch for the side of the body right there. Relax your arm down, shake out the legs, have a seat, grab a sip of water. Before we grab weights, I just want to bring in an exercise or two. So grab your sip of water and no weights quite yet. And remember, weights are always optional. Step far enough forward on your chair. 
Feet are gonna be flat. Kind of pay attention to what your knees do. If they like to fall in, we wanna keep them open. Add your lean forward, take your fingertips to make a Y. W as you pull your elbows back. T, tap the side wall. I, reach back. Reverse it. I, W, Y. Do it again. W, T, I, T, W, Y. We'll do that one more time. W, T, I, T, W, Y. Take your hands to your lap. Bring yourself all the way up. Add a little shoulder roll right here. We'll do one core exercise. We'll do our lean forward back. Add your little lean to the front. Add your lean to the back. Today, if you want to lift one leg, lift it up. Bring yourself up. Add your lean to the front. Add your lean back. Here comes that option. And it could be a heel lift. Maybe you lift the leg or you don't lift it at all because if you start feeling it in your back, it should be lifted. And then bring yourself all the way up. We'll do that one more time on each side. You have your lean to the front. Sit tall, lean back. Option to lift one leg. Hold it there. Foot goes down, add your lean to the front. Bring yourself up, lean back, option. Heel or leg. Set the foot down, relax the arms. Go ahead, grab your hand weights if you choose to use them today. We'll start with some rows, get our back working, then we'll move on to other body muscle groups. Right here, arms down, lean forward, row here. We'll do our up and down. Big elbow slide back. Now right here, little change, right arm only. Left arm stays down for the right arm for five, four, three, two. Right arm stays down, left arm only for five, four, three, two. Now both your arms come up together. There's up and down, up and down. Both of them, three, two. Bring yourself all the way up right here. Bicep curls together, curl up, bring it down. Curl up, bring it down, up. Two more like this. Hammer curl is next. Have your palms face in, thumbs lead up. There's four, three, two. Now you take the arms out to the side. It's still your bicep curl, but here goes your out and bring it down. Up. So now they're angled out, little different section of your bicep. This time, classic bicep curl. Take your arms back to the front for your five, four, three, two, overhead. Press, both your arms go up. Only four like this. Three, 
to right arm only for four. There's your right arm for four. Three, two, left arm only. There's four, three, two, bring both your arms down. Pause face back, a little lean forward. There's your press back and lower. Press back and lower. Press, release, press, release. Five, four, three, two. Sit up tall, weights are next to you, shoulder shrug, slide your shoulder blades up, slide your shoulder blades down, slide up, slide down, three, two, now palms go back again at a little lean forward, press both arms back for four, three, two, little change, right arm only, relax the left, press the right arm for four, three, two, left arm only, there's your four, Three, two, sit up tall, side raises. We're gonna finish right here. Take it to the side, bring it down. Elbows lead. Now my elbows are bent. It works better, it feels better. You want more challenge, your arms are out straight. Three more to go here. There's three. To finish this the one, keep it the left weight on your left thigh, lean off to the right, and little circles. This is how I'm going to start stretching this out. I love this stretch. The extra weight helps you relax in your neck and your shoulder. Take it in the other direction. It's just a soft, comfortable little circle. Bring this side up. Take it to the other side. Weight is down. There is your circle around. Then you switch the direction of it. Bring yourself up carefully. Slide your weights underneath your chair. Grab one more sip of water. We always want to make sure we stay hydrated. We're going to start by stretching our lower body first. Take both your legs out in front, toes are up, little lean forward. So wherever you feel just enough of a stretch here. Bring yourself up, but keep the right leg out. You can slide the left in. Go a little deeper into your hamstring stretch. I'm going to drop my toes down. I like how it feels to stretch the front of my leg. You might say, oh, you really need more of a stretch for the calf, the hamstring in that way, wherever it works best. Bring yourself up, slide the right leg in, take the left leg out, toes up, that's a great version. Bottom of the foot down, another great version. Bring yourself all the way up, quadricep stretch, meaning I'm gonna take it off the side of my chair, and take the foot back. And then think tall, fingertips tap the ceiling. This arm is to help you increase the stretch down the front of the thigh. There's the stretch here. Relax the arm down, slide the leg in. We're gonna take it off to the other side. And there it comes. Fingertips up. Stretch here.
Bring the arm down, slide the leg in. Take your feet out wide, come down to your forearms. Here's that side stretch, arm sweeps around. First, get this stretch, feel this. Then add the leg as you take it a little deeper. Leg slides in, arm comes down, other side. Arm sweeps over, open your chest to the ceiling, walk the left leg out, pull the stretch, think chest up and open. It does make the stretch a little bigger. Slide the leg in, bring the arm down. Take your forward fold wherever that is. As you know, I like to stay up higher. When you come up, take a nice inhale. Take your time, bring yourself all the way up right here. Feet can come in, take the right hand behind. This is your shoulder chest stretch. Drop the left arm. Left ear, so now your shoulders stay level, your waistline stays long, it's just your head. Lift the head, relax the right arm. Here comes the left arm behind. Drop the right ear. Take a nice exhale, let the neck shoulders relax right there. Lift the head, relax the arm down. Fingertips go up towards the ceiling. Drop the right hand behind so you can stretch the tricep. You could go from the top. I also know sometimes it feels better to come from the front, wherever you get the best stretch for your tricep. Fingertips go up, left hand drops down. There's the stretch here. Fingertips go up, a clasp for hands, wrist stretch by taking your palms up towards the ceiling. Open your arms to the side, give yourself a big hug, right arm on the bottom. Use that to stretch out your shoulders. Open your arms, left arm on the bottom here as you hug. Open up your arms, take your hands behind you, make fists and have your knuckles meet. And there's a little extra stretch right here for the shoulders, the chest. Little gentle twist to the right. Little gentle twist to the left. We'll do that one more time. It's just a small little twist. Off to the other side. Relax your arms. Hug the right knee in, big or small. Move through the hip. Maybe you open it up a little bit to the outside. Play around with it. Pull your toes up, point your toes down, add a little movement all the way to your toes. Set the foot down, here comes the other side. This is where sometimes it's best to play around. You can hug, maybe it feels better if you open it up to the side a little, maybe it feels better across. There's the point of the toes, maybe you pull them up, add a circle, wiggle your toes, get movement all the way down to the bottom. Drop the foot down, sit up tall, press your palms together. This is our wrist, our forearm stretch. Take the arms out in front and drop. So the fingertips are down. Here's the stretch of each finger. Stretch each finger out. This is also a way to get circulation to your fingertips. Catch both hands. Now that doesn't have to be a big stretch, just enough to feel that you're moving your fingers. Flip it over to the other side. Now your fingertips are down. The thumb is going right in the crease as you add a little extra stretch, if you choose. Here's the other side. Wrist circles, take your wrist around in one direction. Take your wrist in the other. Hands are on your thighs, turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the left. Look to the front, drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling. Look straight ahead. Drop your arm, shoulder roll. Here are your inhales, big inhale, reach all the way up. 
Exhale, blow it out. Two more of these. Reach up. Big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. Inhale one more time. Big reach up. Inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. Thank you, everybody.